there, welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen review. These three fountain pens from Scrivener, which I'm going to give away to three lucky subscribers. Thanks to Scrivener of London for providing these pens for review and to give away. All you have to do to win one of these fountain pens is to be a subscriber to my channel and add a comment to this video. I'll give you a topic for your comments. Why Inquiring Minds is my favorite YouTube fountain pen channel. Discuss. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. The Romanesque church design was based on the Roman Basilica. Discuss. Okay, there I feel better. I will randomly select three lucky sycophants, um, I mean lucky subscribers, as the winners. You'll have until Monday, August 21st at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to enter the draw with your comment. I reserve the right to refuse to send to addresses that Canada Post will not deliver to with insured tracking. Sorry in advance if this ends up being you. Complain to Canada Post. It won't help, but it might make you feel better. I want to complain. You want to complain? Look at these shoes. I've only had them three weeks and they haven't No, I want to complain about the man. complain, nothing happens. You might just as well not bother and my back hurts. And whenever you have a fun day, look at I want to complain. Oh! I'll announce the winners in a pinned comment on this video, in a post on my community page, and by replying to the winning comments. You have 24 hours to respond by email to inquiringminds at gmail.com with your name and your address where I can send your prize. If you don't want to give up your name and address, don't enter the draw. Simple. I promise I'll not stalk you. Just trying to give away stuff here. So, now let's see if these pens are worth all that effort. Right now. I'll show the parts and features of these pens, show some size comparisons and measurements, and then provide some writing samples. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about these fountain pens. I have three pens here in two different models and three different colors. The Scrivener pens come in these lovely cardboard boxes with gold foil stamped on the front and Scrivener London and their logo. Let's see which one this one is. Okay, this is in chrome, of course. And this is the Scrivener Classic model. And then there is the Scrivener EDC. This one's in black, matte black with gold trim. And then I have the EDC in gold with chrome trim. From what I can discover, Scrivener is a company based in London, England. They rebrand Chinese OEM fountain pens and sell them through their website and Amazon. I'm not sure who the Chinese OEM manufacturer is of these pens, but they're well made and the EDC model looks very similar to the Majon N1 in my eye. Now sometimes Western rebranded Chinese pens are a bad deal. There is a vendor that keeps popping up on my Facebook feed called Too Shiny For Ya where they rebrand $5 Jinhao X450s and sell them for 25 bucks. That's a ripoff, I know from experience. And then there are Western brands like Monteverdi who rebrand Jinhao 996 fountain pens and sell them as calligraphy sets for 30 bucks. They're total crap. Again, I speak from experience. And actually the $2 Jinhao 996 is a better pen than the rebranded Monteverdi. But this is different and I'll tell you why. First, these pens are solid and well built. Second, Scrivener is selling them for a reasonable markup considering the value they've added to these pens. If you buy a Majon N1 on Etsy, you'll pay $22.99 plus shipping US. And then you'll get the pen in a bubble mailer and that's it. With the Scrivener, you'll get a German Schmidt nib and converter rather than a Chinese nib. And it all comes in a presentation box with an extra cartridge, some documentation telling you to go to their website and register and you'll get a free year warranty extension. So that's two years of warranty if you register within 10 days of your purchase. And you'll get some documentation from Scrivener about their pens, how to fill them and so forth, which makes it a good deal if you're interested in gifting these pens. And you'll pay $47.99 US for that extra service and support. If you're gifting the pen or want the peace of mind of having good customer service, return policy and warranty, then the extra $25 does make sense. Again, it's your call. 
You don't get that kind of extra service from purchasing the Chinese pen directly from Etsy, eBay, or AliExpress. Although I found that Etsy and AliExpress both have some pretty good return policies, depending on the vendor that you're dealing with. So let's look at this classic model first. Overall, it's a good size, slim, brushed stainless steel over brass pen. From the top, we see a flat finial with rounded edges and a stylized S logo that forms a yin-yang symbol. The rest of the top finial holds the clip in place. The clip is straight and has grooves and is nicely springy and usable. The cap is finely brushed steel and is straight until a chrome cap band that also sports the Scrivener yin-yang symbol and Scrivener on the back, which are stamped and filled with black enamel. There's a slight step down from the cap to the chrome ring at the top of the barrel, and then the brushed steel barrel is straight to here, where it tapers slightly down to a domed end chrome finial. The cap snaps off to reveal a tapering chrome section that has a cross hatch pattern etched into it and a small lip ahead of a number five size steel medium nib and black plastic feed. The section is a good length but slender and the etch pattern keeps it from being slippery at all. Let's take a closer look at this nib. It's a stock Schmidt nib with an M for medium inside the scroll work and with Schmidt iridium point stamped into it. The nib and feet are part of a nib assembly that unscrews for maintenance or swapping. And the section unscrews to reveal a Scrivener branded Schmidt converter, which is a nice upscale version that screws in and has a reinforced nipple. Those threads on the inside of the section are a bit sharp and tends to rough up those threads. So I wouldn't unscrew this often. And there's no silicone o-ring between the barrel and the section to keep it from unscrewing in your hand while you write. The inside of the cap shows a plastic cap liner to help seal the nib from evaporation. The cap posts, not too deeply, but securely. And the cap is relatively heavy and throws the balance of the pen off. Unposted, the pen is plenty long enough to write with comfortably. The Scrivener Classic is available in black, chrome, green, and blue from the Scrivener website for $47.99 plus shipping. Now let's look at the Scrivener EDC. EDC standing for Everyday Carry. The EDC is a pocket-sized pen that screws in to post, thus becoming a full-size fountain pen when it's posted. It's very similar to the Caveco Sport, which does exactly the same thing. Although the Caveco is much smaller and lighter, of course. There are metal versions of the Sport. They're called the Sport AL. The EDC is matte enamel over brass and available in black, green, blue, silver, copper, or bronze with gold or silver trim. The advertising states 24 karat gold plate on the hardware and 18 karat gold plate on the nibs. From the top, we see a flat finial in gold colored metal with the familiar Scrivener logo. Then there is a black band in front of a gold colored band that holds the gold metal clip in place. It is roughly similar to the classic, a little bit wider, but just as springy and usable. The cap is straight to a tapered gold metal cap band with the Scrivener logo and Scrivener again on the back in black enamel. There's a slight step down to the barrel, which is straight to some threads and a slightly smaller diameter and finial. The cap unscrews with one and three quarters of a turn to reveal a concave section with the same black matte enamel over brass and a gold colored number five size Schmidt nib and black plastic feed. Again, the nib is an unscrewable unit. This one is a medium. The cap screws onto those threads at the end of the barrel to post, and it becomes a nice size, well-balanced pen in the hand. Unposted, the pen is short, but still usable. The section unscrews, and I put the standard international cartridge in this one to write with, this one in black, but it comes with the same screw-in type, reinforced nipple Schmidt converter, that is branded Scrivener. The EDC is available for sale on US-based Amazon for $51.99 US and is available with EF, F, and M nibs. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Scrivener Classic with the Scrivener EDC 
and a Caveco Sport, a Magon RS1 Titanium, and a Lambi 2 3062. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. The nice thing about the EDC is when you screw that cap on to post, the clip lines up perfectly with the nib, which is great for you OCD types. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. You can see that the Caveco Sport and the Magon RS1 are the shortest of the group and I can't write with either one of these when they're not posted. But the RS1 Titanium has exactly the same nib as both of the Scriveners. This Schmidt nib on the Scrivener Green is a fine nib whereas the other two are mediums. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the Scrivener Classic, and it has a medium number five size steel nib from Schmidt. And this nib is very smooth, very nice check the wetness it's decently wet not overly wet but it's very smooth not much feedback at all on this nib the pen is very slim in my hand posted it's a little bit long for me so I'm writing with it unposted and the ink is from Ferris wheel press Yeah, we're having some flow issues with this pen. And it is a really nice blue-black called Stroke of Midnight. And for our quote. And for some reverse writing, it's very scratchy and dried out. And for some quick writing, after some initial problems when I first inked it up, as you could see at the beginning, this is actually flowing very nicely now. And this is a shimmering ink. Uh, so it might have taken a bit to get some of those shimmering particulates through that nib. But now I'm even seeing, you might not be able to see it on the paper, but I'm seeing some of that uh, shimmer in the ink. So it's actually flowing very nicely now. Now let's look at the EDC. And here we are with the Scrivener EDC. This one in green. And this one has a number five size steel fine nib. And it also is a Schmidt. And this has a lot more feedback as you'd expect, but it is actually nicely smooth. And the ink I've chosen for this green pen is from Robert Oster. And it's Aster Kiza. olive and a nice pea green to match the green of the pen line variation not so much a little bit you can push out but these are fairly stiff steel nibs as you can expect and i'm going to create a line here and compare it to my richard binder line width chart which tells me that this nib makes a 0 0.4 millimeter thickness and line which is a Western extra fine or a Japanese fine and the classic and the the black 
EDC because it has the same medium nib. Make a 0 0.5 millimeter line, which is Western fine or Japanese fine to medium. And you can find that Richard Bender line width chart in the description below. And let's do a quote. And for some reverse writing, yeah, just like the other one, it's fairly scratchy and dry. And some quick writing. Again, no issues. That feed keeps up very nicely. So what do I like and what do I not like about these fountain pens? Well, they're solidly made pens. The EDC is a great pocket-sized pen that posts to become a full-size pen. Of course, you have to unscrew it and screw it in to write with it as a full-size pen. The Pilot E95S is the best in this category for me. But then again, it is a 14 karat gold nib and isn't 50 bucks. Classic is a sleek chrome fountain pen that is slender and quite unbalanced when posted. That fast click cap and uncap is really nice to get at the pen quickly. Both models have the same Schmidt number no. five size steel nib. The fine nib exhibited no issues, whereas both the medium nibs have some flow issues. I used the converter in the classic and it seems to be feeding that nib a little bit better than the one that has the cartridge in it. Both models are sharp looking Chinese made fountain pens, but rather overpriced in my opinion for what they are at 50 bucks. If you value the packaging, the two year warranty and the customer service that Scrivener provides, then these pens will give you some peace of mind, especially if you're deciding to gift them. And if you wanna win one of these pens, simply add a comment, any comment to this video before Monday, August 21st at 8 a.m. PST to be entered into the draw. I will select three comments and contact the winners by replying to the winning comments and posting the winners in a pinned comment and on my community page. You have 24 hours to contact me at inkquiringminds at gmail.com with your name and address before I select another winner. Good luck to everyone. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And you can join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.